Hi everyone, Grover from Upscale Audio here, and today we're going to be talking about the Hi-Fi Man Sosfara. So one of my personal favorite headphones of 2022, uh, and probably all time. When this headphone first came out, it was kind of a shocking sticker price, $6,000. We're definitely up in the high end. Now we've got headphones that are even more expensive, mostly still electrostatic, but uh, this is not anymore a, a crazy, crazy price point. So um, we're gonna talk about this and I'm really excited about it because as we move into higher end headphones, I really think that there's some exciting new technology going on. This is a headphone which people were kind of surprised by when it first came out, but it actually sounds really, really good. So let's take a look first at the build quality. The build quality is actually really, really good. Um, it feels weighty in the hands. Everything is made out of a nice sturdy metal. It's not too heavy on the head, but it feels substantial in the hands. The internal cups are made out of very soft, supple leather. Everything's put together well. It doesn't seem at all inexpensive or plasticky. It's a very nice uh, headphone. Uh, and, and I think that really for the money, you're getting a pretty decent build quality. You can see inside there's a gold sort of covering across the driver uh, and um, overall quite an open headphone. I also like the suspension type headband. It's the most comfortable style of headband that I've found personally. And in use, these really kind of just float on your head, a little bit like a Sennheiser HD 800. Now, in terms of technology, hi fi is using their nanometer diaphragm. It's even thinner than a human hair. In fact, I think it might even be thinner than a human blood cell. It's super, super, super thin, like a millionth of a meter thin. Uh, and that allows the diaphragm to move extremely quickly and to have extremely low distortion. It's also using what they call stealth magnets. Uh, now the stealth magnets are a special arrangement of the magnets so that when the airflow and the sound comes through the diaphragm and out past the magnets, it's not uh, encountering as many disruptions. So this is supposed to lower turbulence, lower distortion, and provide an overall cleaner listening experience. They've previously used this technology in the Aria, the HE 1000s, etc. Now let's talk about some of the caveats with these headphones. These are 83 decibel sensitivity headphones. Now it's a 60 ohm impedance and it's a purely resistive load because it's a planar magnetic. However, that 83 decibel is really, really hard to drive. I definitely recommend having at least three watts. So amplifiers that are going to be a minimum for this, Pathos Orium, Pathos Inpole, uh, Ferrum OOR and the Hypsos Power Supply, Felix Envy, those are going to be great matches with this headphone. You're going to want to stay away from other headphone amps that don't have at least three to four watts of power and I really recommend more like six or eight. Uh, eight watts is actually fantastic. The Felix Envy and the Ferrum OOR and Hypsos sound really, really good with these headphones. They become extremely dynamic. They really open up. The top end becomes much cleaner. The whole headphone becomes less congested and much smoother sounding. So expensive headphone, but you really do need to have a top flight amplifier to go with these. Now, once you do have a great amplifier with these, these are one of the few headphone. Uh, these are one of the few headphones on the market that I can almost entirely recommend without using any EQ. From the low end down to the upper mid range, the headphone is extremely linear. It's pretty much razor flat. Looks like it was drawn with a ruler on the frequency response graph. And then from there, you get a little bit of that 3K rise, as seen in the Harman curve for the pinna ear gain interaction. Although I think it's a little bit less than Harman, which I actually think is a good thing. It creates a somewhat more relaxed sound for this headphone. And then it's got a smooth uh, and, and fairly linear treble. Now, the result of this headphone it being tuned so smoothly and slightly relaxed is that you get loads and loads of detail from that awesome, super thin planar magnetic diaphragm, but without any of the harshness that you can sometimes get from more aggressive headphones. There's not a shred of harshness in this headphone in the treble, at least when you pair it with a capable amplifier. Uh, in terms of the upper mid-range, also again, slightly warm and adds to the sense that these large drivers are creating a very expansive, very wrap around your head soundstage. It's a bit like comparing a Martin Logan or an ESL quad to a Tannoy or other concentric dynamic driver speaker. The dynamic driver is very pinpoint and precise, whereas the planar magnetics planar magnetics and the electrostatics are a little bit more warm, a little bit more open, have a little bit of a wider soundstage, less pinpoint, but still very detailed. These have that, it's very wide open, it's very big sounding, and it has lots of macro dynamics. When low bass instruments slam, they really slam, and there's a sense that choruses for example, are much louder against verses. So you get a lot of those microdynamic detail, but this headphone really does macrodynamics extremely well. Overall, 
probably one of my favorite headphones on the market. I've been using this and a Ferrum OOR and Hypsos combination as my daily driver in my studio alongside my Utopias. Um, and honestly, this one's probably getting the most head time of any of them. It's super open, super neutral, super detailed. You just can't ask for too much more. I also heard at Expona 2022 the combination of the Felix Envy with the Susfara, and it was pretty much sublime. I mean, high power DHT, directly heated triode, 300 Bs with Susfara. It was just fantastic. You definitely have to hear it. So that's the Hi-Fi Man Susfara. Definitely check it out, as well as our other personal audio and general two-channel offerings on upscaleaudio.com. Give us a call, like, and subscribe to the videos if you want to see more by myself, Cat for analog gear, and of course, Kevin himself. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.